What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Today we have a airport update for Albuquerque International Airport. I believe this is the fifth one for October of 2018. Um, lots of new things to be excited about in this update. We do have a few new models in here as uh, the American Eagle Ember 175. Uh, very, very, very happy to have three of those now. And also the American 737 One World. And also runway progress. This is uh, runway eight. Um, I did mess this up pretty bad, as uh, runway. This is around the threshold area, which is back there. This runway portion is about right here on the um, actual thing. So that's unfortunate. Maybe I'll redo it at some point, but for right now, I'm not gonna write about it. It's all right. It'll do. So maybe at one point I want to add grass to these areas right here and then I plan by hopefully next update or so to have a ramp done over here for um, other aircraft, UPS, general aviation, another divide version or anything like that. Um, another plan that I will begin for this airport is going to be a Frontier 8320neo. I briefly mentioned in tomorrow's videos, there's three videos going out to uh, this weekend, uh, two today. Uh, if I sound unenthusiastic, uh, I just got up. I did it early because the lighting is really good in, in this uh, room, specifically when it's early. So that's why. <clears throat> so uh, it'll be 8 through 20 Neo next time. It's going to be um, Wilbert the White Tail will be the tail, and I'll maybe mix them, but probably will be 8 through 20. No, most of the time, Neo. Um, but really happy about that E175 back there. And also, we do have a lot of specials in this update today. So, hope you guys are excited for today's video. We're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to briefly bring up the trips, but the video later uh, in a couple hours will be specifically for that uh, topic. But I'll briefly mention it right now. So, I'm going to be going to Washington, D.C. Very, very, very excited. I'm scrambling to get this done because now I got a pack. And I'm leaving later tonight for um, Grandma's, which I'm going to be staying at till we leave tomorrow morning. So um, I got to get my stuff done real quick. So this was um, this unfortunately got held off for a few reasons. Finally, just now getting to it, so it's going to barely make it out with the other two videos. But um, I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be flying American Airlines by myself. Uh, first flight uh, is going to be on a uh, Boeing 737-800 from Tulsa to Charlotte. Um, and then the second flight will be an Airbus A320 from Charlotte to Washington National DCA. Then coming back, it will be DCA to Dallas-Fort Worth on an American Airlines Airbus A320. And then finally, an American Airlines from Donald Dove's MD-82 um, or 3 from Tulsa, or from DFW to Tulsa. Very, very excited. Um, both layovers will be three hours, so lots and lots and lots of spotting time there. And now I'm going to be close to Washington Reagan, so hopefully a lot of spotting from there as well. So anything could happen, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, also, the new model reviews will be coming out tomorrow. May already be out by the time you're watching this. Uh, so it was a really good video. It's 35 minutes, so if you get a chance, please go check it out. Lots of new things to be excited about uh, leading up the next week's DFW Airport update, which is going to be really good. I may or may not do a review for uh, Wilbert the Whitetail. Haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. It should be here by the time I'm back from Washington, D.C. So, not really sure what I'm doing there yet. But, um, yeah, um, I want to get this ramp done by next update, like I said. Uh, just need to get the taxiway and do it. Um, I'll, I'm going to probably just have it go extend off there. But this will all be open with... Uh, parking spots for aircraft uh, heavy and narrow body so um, today's time frame is based around um, 10 30 at night so a <clears throat> um, couple of planes are off but just a few it isn't a whole bunch it's just one I think um, yeah Southwest is about accurate. Well, there is one plane that's off because um, their flights are during the day, and then another uh, aircraft operation is incorrect for a route on purpose. Well, a couple other United aircraft are, but besides that, 
I think we can get right into this update, so. We'll start uh, back here with this United Bombarian CRJ-200. Now I 700, which I have a tool up, but that's, um, that's, I can't keep using that, so. Here we have a United Express Bombarian CRJ-200. Currently loading up a service out to San Francisco. Two empty gates. Whoops. Might be picking up another Max for Southwest. Haven't decided yet. Still have the one, so we'll see. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 livery. This one's currently pulling in from uh, San Jose. Um, in the morning, has planes to go out to Las Vegas. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Heart livery. Couldn't really see what I was doing back there. Anyways, this one's currently um, loading up passengers uh, with its night service to Orlando. <clears throat> and we'll be heading out to, or just arrived in from Las Vegas a few minutes ago. Uh, back there we have a Southwest 737-700, that's the blue box one. Uh, currently taxiing out with service to Los Angeles, arrived in from Dallas Love Field uh, about an hour ago now. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-800 with the split semi cars. This one's currently loading up passengers with service to, or uh, this one's actually going to be nighting here from um, Houston Hobby. We'll be heading out to uh, San Francisco in the morning. Uh-oh, my bad. A couple of gates got messed up there. Trying to adjust one, adjust the whole thing for you, so. Here we have a South Carolina 737-700 ND Canyon Blue livery. This one's currently loading up passengers um, with its night service to um, Kansas City after arriving in from Phoenix Sky Harbor earlier. Here we have a late Allegiant Airbus A320. This one's currently loading up passengers with service to Las Vegas. Um, arrived from Las Vegas as well earlier, had a big delay, mechanical issues, got that one. Ouch. Sorry about that. Here we have a South Carolina 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery once again. Um, this one's actually off, so I'm going to fix that. Uh, this one's currently loading up. Uh, we'll be heading out to... Um, Chicago Midway in the morning after arriving from Baltimore. Uh, here's one that New Mexico Aviation on Instagram caught. Um, on Instagram caught this is a uh, United Airlines Boeing 737 um, 800 in Star Alliance delivery. So it's currently loading up with service to Chicago here, which is now um, they have a daily mainline service. Very, very, very good news. Um, so I'll be heading out to. Uh, Chicago after arriving from Chicago as well. Here we have United uh, 737 800 with the split SIM cars. This one's going to be loaded up with service to Houston IH, also upgraded one daily 737 800 and arrived in from um, Houston as well. So nice special there. And then we got two kind of specials, but now the MD 80 is a daily service. That is off, but it's all right. So we are here we have the Americans Boeing 737-800 uh, Chrome Retro, also caught by me in Mexico Aviation. This one's going to be loading up service out to, I believe it was heading to Dallas, so we'll be heading back home to DFW after arriving from Dallas as well. Um, and then we're here we have an Americans McDonald's double MD-83. MD-82, sorry, this is, uh, we'll call it 501. No, I, th I think I said 501 last update, so we'll call it a 7541. Uh, we'll service to Dallas Fort Worth as well. Uh, gosh, I love that polish on that aircraft. That is something else by JetX. Uh, I plan, plan on picking up a uh, Black Nose one at some point. Just made my bid for a, a Delta CRJ900 on the eBay, probably outbid it by now. 
it was like it's 30 bucks right now I think so don't go jump me on that one I really need that model so hopefully I, it has a week left so I doubt I'm getting it but you never know um, I don't have the money for it not even close right now so probably pull out if it gets over 50 we have American Airlines Airbus E319 this one's currently loading up with service out to um, Phoenix, this was a sub, uh, usually they're just 900s and the 700s is gone, so I guess that's good, but not for me since I have these subs. So this is the first A319 flight service to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Here we have a Alaska Airlines 737-900, this is the um, 100 year strong Boeing delivery. Uh, just love this model, that gray is so nice with the blues and greens. Anyways, this plane is loading up with service out to uh, Seattle. Here we have a JetBlue Airbus E320. Uh, this one's currently loading up, about to head right back to JFK. Uh, just arrived a few minutes ago as well. Um, there we go. Uh, loading up for JFK. Here we have a, um, I don't think this one's made an appearance yet in this airport, but it's a Delta 717-200. It's currently loading up service out to um, Salt Lake City after arriving in from uh, Salt Lake City uh, earlier. It'll be heading back in the morning. Here we have a Delta Airlines 737-800 that are actually flying 1-800 day. Heading back home to Atlanta after arriving from Atlanta earlier uh, tomorrow morning. Here we have a Delta McDonald Doubles MD90 currently loading up service out to uh, Minneapolis in the morning. Just arrived as well. Pushing back, here we have a Frontier versus E321. This is Max Dolan making probably his final appearance in this airport. He's heading off for his final flight in this airport, most likely to. Um, Denver after arriving from um, we're just going to call it San Antonio since that route's still new but anyways um, it was a great time Mr. Maxillin. Um Wilbert the Whitetail will be replacing him also an Aero Classics model but uh, who knows maybe Maxillin will be back at some point we'll see but thank you anyways Maxillin. Finally at the terminal, we have the brand new American Eagle um, Ember 175 operated by Compass Airlines with service to Los Angeles. So that's realistic. Uh, I got three of those three W. Very, very, very excited. Maybe picking up four or five soon. But right now, I'm, the Delta, Delta is the focus, I guess. I don't know. I just saw it pop up on my email feed, so I immediately ran on to it. This is going to be a hard one to get. Here we have United Airbus E320. This one's currently pushed, uh, taxiing to the runway 8 with service to Denver. Taxi, I think, looks pretty good. Uh, this one's really bad lighting down here, but here we have a Southwest 737 Max 8. This one's uh, about to hold short uh, and then pull onto the runway. Uh, we'll be heading out with service to uh, Denver after arriving from... Um, Um, there's surely one place I have not used yet. I know they're adding a San Antonio seasonally, but that's not, we don't have that yet. Las Vegas. And then finally we have the second new model here. Um, here's the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the One World paint scheme. This one's currently uh, rolling down runway 8. Uh, another one New Mexico Aviation has caught. I've also caught this one. With service to uh, Chicago O'Hare after arriving in uh, earlier. So uh, last time I really enjoyed the uh, spot up here so we're going to do that again. I can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so Hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Um, it was a pretty good one, in my opinion. Um, so, I'm very excited for my trip. That's going to be so, so fun. Since I need, I want to make this uh, closer to 20 minutes. We're just now getting 15. I will give you guys my flight information. 
Once again, if you want live feed or um, updates on what I'm doing, go check out Red River Radiation on Instagram. Just checked in earlier this morning when I got up. So, um, as of right now, I'll be flying uh, November 9, 6, 4 a.m. Uh, Tulsa to Charlotte, uh, flight 1433. Departing Tulsa at 7-11, arriving to Charlotte at 10-36. Seat 16F. Um, that's going to be a really good flight. Hopefully, I get a late change to an uh, IFE or special 737-800, but it's not looking good. So, we'll see what happens there. Then departing Charlotte at 116, arriving in Washington, Reagan at uh, 245, flight 1815 on Airbus A320, uh, 200 or 100 or whatever it is. It's just a slash here. Let me block up the record locator and I'll show you guys. That looks pretty good to me, but. Um, anyways, it's going to be in seat 6F for now. I'm very excited about that. i got an engine VC as well. And then um, on Tuesday, October 23rd, departing Washington, Reagan at 8.59 um, and seat 12A and arriving at uh, 11.34 in Dallas-Fort Worth, flight 2101. And then uh, departing that on flight 2275, departing at 234 and arriving at 335, 15A, McDonald, Dulles, in the 80. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, really hoping that I'm going to be able to spot at DC as well, but if not, um, I'm going to have a lot of pictures regardless, so I'll make it happen. Um, definitely have plans tomorrow to go explore North Terminal A um, and see if they have any good spots to spot at. I'm just hoping for no tinted windows. That's the biggest thing. Also, we we'll doing some tunnel spotting at DCA as well. Um, I'm going to try to take some video for you guys. Not, no guarantees on that one, but I'm going to try. So, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a video and the notification bell. Uh, for the plans for this airport, once again, work on the ramp right here. And um, finish gate sockets down there. I'm probably just going to do those final five or so at some point. Haven't decided when yet, uh, but those are one of the few things left to do. Um, if I, that Delta CRG 900 is irrelevant for this airport, what would, would be huge for Tulsa and uh, DFW? And really my RJ collection for Delta because that would be done if so. Um, anything else? Um, once again, uh, very excited for my trip. If you track me, um, I'll give, be giving shout outs on Instagram. So once again, another big, big, big reason to be following me on Instagram at Red River Aviation as I speak five followers away from 7,000 so thank, thank, thank you guys for that um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day um, I enjoyed this update um, pretty good one, uh, the new models are nice and also the uh, runway 8 um, once again sorry about my voice I'm pretty um, just not getting up and moving so that's why it's um, pretty uh, dull at the moment but anyways um, once again I hope you guys enjoyed this update if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Hope you guys are there to uh, watch my flights and track me, maybe. Uh, whatever you guys feel like doing. Um, but yeah, uh, that will do it for this update. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And Red River Aviation is signing off.